Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Hellsign episode 5 with the series here. Uh, we're going to jump in and do a, a scouting mission. We've got the new uh, frequency distortion uh, checking thing. I'm a bobber I guess we could call it. So we've got that um, and we're going to try and are these all abandoned houses? It'd be cool to see this be abandoned businesses or something like that eventually. Well, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and use this tool just to see what we come up with, and then we'll head back and visit Zoe and see if she's got anything for us. And uh, hopefully we'll have some stuff to sell as well after this mission. So it says here, struggling against a specific enemy. Be sure to check Red Backstore for relevant journal entries depicting their weaknesses. So those different journal entries that we actually picked up will... Help us find weaknesses to some of the creatures we might actually fight. Worn down house, inactive, poltergeist spotted. Alright, let's do it. So already picking something up. Right out the bat, we've got some something here, maybe, or at least a trail leading down the hall. It is it's a trail leading down the hall, okay. Before I go chasing after that, we've got the parabolic mic as well. Okay, cool. Ah, so that's what that sound was earlier that we were hearing, but we didn't have anything to properly uh, track it. Nice. Okay, let's see where this stuff goes first. Looks like it goes into this room. Yep. Come on, buddy. Nice, getting a little bit better. I've honed my skills. And I also need to buy more ammo. Alright. I'm going to guess that this might have something to do with the writing. So nothing maybe for writing, nothing for this. Oh, so this is different. We actually record a sound. Hmm. Might be in here then. Okay, I'm gonna say that it's definitely in here. No, see, we don't hear it over here. And we don't hear it towards this room. It starts to get quieter this way, so it's got to be right here. It gets even worse this way. Oh. It 
that's on the other side of this door. Oh yeah, it's getting significantly louder. Wait for some spiders here. It's in the kitchen. There they are. Always in the kitchen. I need to buy more ammo. At least for the most part, shooting these spiders is exactly what I would picture trying to shoot gigantic spiders on the floor to be like. Just shooting wildly everywhere trying to hit the stupid things. Thank God I found it. Parabolic presence. Tape 2 evidence. Okay. So that's interesting. It just stops now. Ooh, that was interesting. The EMF reader jumped all the way to the top and then stopped. Nothing either of these directions. Where is this thing? It's got to be the on this wall then. No, it's on the other side then. It's in this room right here, whatever this room is. Yep, it's right here. What the hell was that? I know I heard something. Oh. Could you actually imagine for a second doing this for a living? This would be horrifying. I mean, everything about this would just suck so much. 3819. Special tape that holds the recordings of the dead. It's very cool. I wonder if you can actually listen to that. So we can actually fully debunk what this is if we want to so if we put these up here spiderlings identify enemy weakness one enemy type trap type survival type so we know it's a spiderling so we go here we need to get more clues Huh. 
Huh, okay. Well, we know there was the, the light clue here because we followed it. Where did it end? Ooh, it actually goes into this room. Ah, here we go. Does it go somewhere else? Got it. A pig mask. So now we just need a, um, this is a evidence sign. We need a clue so we can identify what we're dealing with. And once we do that, then that'll be money made. So this will be our first time fully completing because we have the parabolic mic. So basically using, oh, Jesus Christ in heaven. Oh my God, why? Oh, God damn, I got goosebumps right now. Why is there two more? I thought I killed one of these. Damn it. I wasn't even aiming at the ground. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. That thing jumping out scared the literal hell out of me. Also, it made me realize there's a bathroom here, but I don't think there's anything in it. Oh, why did I have to have... See, there were, I did kill multiple. There was three of them. I only noticed two. Oh, why did I have to have my freaking EMF reader out? Here we go. Okay, it's over here. Come out. I'm sure there's more. Sure, we're not done yet. Okay, I can tell you it's on the other side of that wall, whatever it is, it's through this door. Oh, God. Oh my god, I suck at this. I really, really do. Okay. And if I don't get more ammo, if I come into something really bad, we're going to be in trouble. Alright, we can see if we can find out what we're dealing with. There we go. A struggle, okay. And, ah, oh, it's not what we need, though. Boy. Okay. Still not what we need. I 
I can't believe we still haven't found everything. I guess to completely debunk a house, you probably got to, I don't know, probably have to search the whole thing for the most part. You know, it makes sense. You got to go in about every room. But... Um, I can see how it can definitely get repetitive after a while. Cycling through everything in every room. Constantly getting jump scared by spiders and... Oh, Jesus. I will say it scares me every single time. Especially when you get those crazy small little readings and then they go away. It's almost worse than everything else. <gasps> ah, damn it. And I don't know how you avoid that. Also, the door shuts back on you, so you can't leave when that happens. Okay, here's doors for rooms I haven't searched. I want to do one complete search through before I, I want to at least say I searched an entire house for everything. We're getting a little bit of waves, not a lot though. There's some more rooms. I just, oh uh, God. Okay, that's what I figured. We're due for another one of these buggers. I'm gonna dodge down this hall here. That <laughs> worked out really well. I probably use like a hundred rounds every mission. <sighs> okay. What do we got? We're running out of rooms to search, honestly. We are running out of rooms to search. I know there's some bathrooms I haven't searched yet, but... I'm kind of thinking that there's nothing in the bathroom. I could be, you know, wrong about that. I'm pretty sure we have every device we need to do this. There should not be a device that we are lacking. Ah, here we go. Damn it. Ooh. Okay. I don't think there's anything outside. <sighs> okay. All right. What are we missing? Right here. What's this? 
This is outside too. The only other thing I think it could be is it's a clue with the bat black light and I somehow missed it. The black light's definitely the easiest to miss. Especially these big rooms like this if you're not walking through the whole thing like here. But I feel like this is the best method, right? Just kind of go like this. We didn't check the kitchen all that much. But there's nothing here. Oh, aside from that jump scare thing. Yeah, so there's nothing here. Um, there was... This blood spot, which kind of goes into the bathroom. Got it. You got to be kidding me. Okay. Damn. That took some time. All right. So we know it's a, let's see, decipher pathology. <sighs> okay. Um, pig mask. Pathology, the dismembered remains of human flesh. Um, so what do I gotta go here? Struggle, battle, clash, encounter, symbols, pathology, devour. God damn, why would the game do that? Oh, Jesus, that scared the hell out of me. Oh, God, this game's got me like goosebumps. Oh. Very, very bravo on the developers for that little tidbit there. You're having your develop or having your character like quickly like out of the book because he heard something run in the distance. Oh. So this is definitely Devour. So we're going to click Devour. Blood Crawlers. Part of Blood Crawlers exoskeleton found. Shadow weakness type, ammunition type, 300% bullage damage, trap type stuns enemy survival type, 25% resistance. All right. Um, skill requirement. Skill, need skill to deduct further. So you need to be able to, if you wanted to, God damn it again. If you want to deduct that further, um, yeah, that's what you got to do. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're leaving. I've had enough. I gotta go to the quiet comfort of a screen that doesn't have jump scares. Uh, okay, so we have completely deducted this job. And we got 65 bucks for doing it. Nice. Plus 128 bucks worth of stuff there. So we actually have a pretty good amount of money in the grand scheme of things, so... Uh, so you may as well find something to do while you wait. Okay, I've got some questions for you maybe. Ask me whatever you want, but I'm super busy. Yeah, parabolic mic. Yeah, if you hear any abnormal background sounds by ear, it might be a good idea to whip out your parabolic mic. Okay, it may makes sense. And if we were to talk to Red back here, we've got a lot of stuff to trade now too, and it's all worth a lot of money. I guess there's no point in keeping this on you. So that gives us $388, which is a lot. Cryptonomicon entry detail and properties and weaknesses of corporeal cryptids. So if I wanted to like upgrade, right? Let's head back to our house or safe house. If I wanted to upgrade, I'm sure I got to look at my skills here. We do have a skill point. So it's a subterfuge trapper. Throwables, ninjutsu allows use of evasion footwear such as that, survival, allows use of specialized protective gear, shape slayer, okay, investigation here though, artifact crafting, audiophile, allows utilizing signs to gain a small advantage, we ended up getting the treasure hunter which is 100% increased chance to discover rare signs when investigating, pathology allows deducting poltergeist sub trait level 2, Learn. okay so that should 
I believe, give us what we want. Oh, I forgot I can craft stuff. I don't know. We'd have to, we have to get schematics for that. And then, yeah, you can actually store weapons and stuff. Nice. Oh, that's your car trunk. That's even handier. Okay, so if we head back to the map. Back to the bar. Okay, so we I don't know how long it actually takes before we can talk to her. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and leave it off here since we are out of time. I'd like to ask uh, for you guys, let me know in the comment section what you think about this game. Uh, I'm definitely having a lot of fun with it. I'd love to see where the game progresses as well as where the development progresses. Um, see uh, what kind of stuff they add. There's definitely a lot of potential here for a very, very spooky game. I think one of the most exciting things for me would be seeing uh, maybe some more. I don't know if this eventually changes to anything else uh, later on. Uh, through the story I'm sure it, uh, there's a chance that it does but yeah I think it'd be cool to see like haunted businesses or maybe smaller or bigger types of houses or I'm um, just some uh, different other, other stuff um, maybe even forests I know it's like a city atmosphere here but that'd be kind of cool maybe parks or something so uh, yeah that'd be pretty neat and uh, if this is something you want to see more of, let me know in the comments section as well, because I'll gladly uh, continue making more of it if it's something that you're all interested in. With that being said, I'm going to leave it off here. I'm going to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you next time.